Here I have prepared the pecans that's going to go inside and on top of the hummingbird chihuahua. I did a half a tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon of pecan chips, one fourth teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a sprinkling of ground nutmeg. I cooked this on low for about five minutes to get that butter and the spices absorbed into the pecans really well. Half of the mixture will go inside the hummingbird waffle. The other half of the mixture is going to be used as part of our topping. Good day everybody, it is Christy from OK Keto. So today we're gonna to do a hummingbird waffle. I went ahead and showed you how we're gonna prepare our pecans. Uh, again, that was one tablespoon. So half a tablespoon is actually gonna go into the waffle. The other half is going to be reserved for the topping. Let's get started. I'm going to preheat my dash waffle maker, plugging it in. I melted in this bowl a half an ounce of cream cheese. I put a half an ounce in here and when I usually preheat my dash, I stick it on top and let it melt the cream cheese for me, but I did go ahead and do that. I got one large egg. I brought up to room temperature and whisked. You can take it out of your refrigerator about an hour before you're gonna use it and it should get it up to room temperature. If you do not remember, about five minutes before you're gonna make these, you can put your egg in some warm water in a mug and five to 10 minutes before and it should bring it up to room temperature for you. We're gonna do two tablespoons of unsweetened shredded coconut. This uh, Let's Do Organic is a really fine shredded coconut. It's used in baking and such. So two tablespoons of the shredded coconut, one tablespoon of Swerve Confectioner, one fourth teaspoon of banana extract, and I pour the one fourth teaspoon over top of the shredded coconut five minutes before I'm gonna start this, and one fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract, and I did the same thing. I poured it over top of the coconut before about five minutes before we start making these and you've seen the pecans for the topping it was one tablespoon again half a tablespoon of butter one fourth teaspoon of ground cinnamon and a sprinkling of the nutmeg so that was part of our pecan mixture and topping and then pineapple I found this freeze-dried pineapple at um, the Dollar Tree. It's, the brand is Fruit Stand. The only thing that's in this is the pineapple. There is no added sweetener or anything. The only ingredient is pineapple. Um, so measuring out four grams on my food scale, it brings it to 3.3 net carbs. So all together for two chwaffles, you're going to get, well, I get, if you use all the same ingredients I do, six net carbs. And that's mainly coming from the pineapple and the pecans and your um, shredded coconut. So six net carbs for these. So let's get started. Again, the cream cheese has been melted. Here is the dried pineapple, and I did crush it up finely. Here's our pecans, a half, the half of the tablespoon of that mixture we made, our tablespoon of swerve, and our two tablespoons of the shredded coconut with the vanilla and the banana extract on top. Again, the extracts have been absorbing in here for about five minutes so that it gets really nice and incorporated and the coconut really soaks up the extract so it's the carrier. Now we're just gonna pour all these dry ingredients into our cream cheese. Because our cream cheese is a little warm and the bowl is a little warm, we want to add the dry ingredients first so that it doesn't start cooking the egg before we're ready to. By adding the dry ingredients, it cools down the temperature a little bit of the cream cheese in the bowl before we add our egg. Again, the dash is preheating and I did not spray it with anything. 
I have not had to, but you can as a precautionary if you would like. It could not hurt anything. And this is what it looks like so far. Now we're going to go ahead and add in our whisked room temperature egg. And we're just going to mix this really well. We're going to press down and scrape the bottom and the sides as we're getting everything really good and incorporated. And this is what it looks like. It smells so good. So half of our mixture into the dash. Again, this mixture will make two. So I'm just going to help to spread it around. I like to make sure all my little grates are covered. It's just something I do. And now I'm going to close the lid. When it's to my liking. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to set it on a cooling rack. If I set it directly on a plate, the heat coming off of this is going to cause condensation and your truffle will get soggy on the bottom. So I always set mine on a cooling rack. So again, we do have our other half of our pecan mixture. When this comes out, when both of them are made, I'm going to top it with some heavy whipping cream, whip topping that I make myself using just uh, heavy whipping cream and a little bit of the Swerve Confectioner and I put a little tiny bit of vanilla extract, whip it up really good, make my own whip topping and then I'm also going to add our reserved Peak Tom mixture. So when I get both of them plated up, I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Okay. So I have them plated up, but it's kind of going to be hard to see at this angle. My daughter is preparing to move, so we got a lot of boxes stacked up everywhere. So I got to film from this angle right now. But I will pick one up and show it to you. The heavy whipping cream and our reserved pecans are on top. Of course, you will see pictures inserted into the video as well. This is one that's been cut in half, so you can see the inside. Again, I will take a close-up picture. Now you're probably like, Christy, usually when you prepare pecans on the stove for your other chihuahuas, you put swerve in there. And you're right, I do. I did not this time because to me, this has enough sweetness already inside of it. And I knew I was going to add the heavy whipping cream and that was going to also add sweetness to it. So I did not add swerve to my pecans when I cook them. You can, if you would like, I would probably do about a, um, a half a teaspoon or maybe a teaspoon in with your pecan mixtures uh, if you wanna go that route. But I think that, you know, the truffle and the heavy whipping cream is sweet enough for me. That's why I did not do it this time. I know, because a lot of people are probably like, she probably missed a step. No, I didn't miss a step. I did that intentionally. But again, you could add the swerve if you wanted even more sweetness um, in your pecans. But go ahead and take a bite for you. So good. Feet on the counter good. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. You're probably a little thrown off because I release these videos usually on Wednesdays. But last night when I was looking at my playlist for the chaffles, I noticed that I have 38 videos. And for some reason, it's eating at me to get to 40 quick. So that's why you're getting this video on a Thursday. Because I really want to get to that 40 number. I don't know why. I really don't. I know I would get there eventually, right, on Wednesdays. But I'm going to try to hit that 40 before then. Wish me luck. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
If you subscribe or ring the bell, you'll get notified whenever I upload a video. If you're interested in my ketogenic lifestyle, my daughter uh, gets involved as well. So we will see you tomorrow if you're around here for uh, Treat Yourself Friday. And then Saturday we do Scale Day. And then Monday we're doing HodgePodge Monday. And then Wednesdays it's usually devoted to chill waffles. So I will see you then. Bye.